Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is a recap of the uh, morning stream. And if you want to join me on my stream, I'm streaming on my backup Good Free Photos channel. You can check that out in the description as well as in the comments uh, section. And I also have another um, crypto channel. It's called Crypto Daily Updates. One video every day encompasses all the great crypto news for that day. So check out Crypto Daily Updates as well, both in the description and the comments. So let's actually start. We're going to talk about our favorite three cryptos, XRP, VET, and Cardano today. Let's start with XRP. XRP actually has like, obviously like some kind of, they touted it as some kind of like uh, implantable navy chip deal that is actually supposed to be compatible with the ripple blockchain and there's speculation in the community that it actually might use xrp the article actually men mentions it as a negative thing because you know implant Im implantable chip um that obviously is just tracking everyone everywhere and that doesn't bode well with the crypto community first of all this is not a like for us investors this is not a negative thing if this is actually true it is a very very positive thing for us if this is true because that means a, maybe another big use case for xrp and the ripple blockchain however if we look more closely into it this isn't an actual a ripple chip it ripple is an open source um ledger that you can actually integrate into anything. The company that actually is doing this is an unknown Danish company that was hired by the Navy last year to actually make tracking chips. Now, this isn't a specifically Ripple chip. I don't know if the Danish company just integrated Ripple blockchain because they were partnered with Ripple as well, but the Navy did not actually require like Ripple blockchain chips. They just uh, they just actually required biochips. So mostly this is a lot of hoopla about nothing, but the article and a lot of other articles mention it as a, in a negative light, like Ripple is helping the government to spy on people. But regardless, if you're at, if you look at it from the direct investment perspective, it's definitely not a negative thing. It actually might be positive. So that is something you can look forward to. If you're like kind of paranoid about the Navy tracking you, then yeah, you have your right to be paranoid. But that doesn't have anything to do with the actual viability of Ripple as a Ripple or XRP as an investment. This actually makes it more viable as an investment. So I think they're getting it wrong. Like they're taking a look at the, like the individual's freedoms view, which I understand, but they're not really looking at it from an investment view, which actually be, this would be very, very good for uh, Ripple and XRP. So will they use it in the future? Maybe it's an open source thing, but the Navy just basically wanted biochips, but um, the company that has them has integrated like uh, the Ripple blockchain. I, I mean, it hasn't integrated the Ripple blockchain in, it's just compatible with the Ripple blockchain. That's how we put it. I don't think the Navy is really planning to use it, but the possibility is actually out there. Now let's talk about Cardano. Cardano's uh, incentivized testnet has been very, very successful. They actually mentioned they're going to roll out the Haskell testnet in the next few weeks. I think it will be in April, maybe in May. And then after that, they can actually launch Shelly. They're still working on a few bugs on the uh, ITN or the, uh, the uh, testnet. And the Byron reboot actually makes things possible. It actually, those of you that don't know, Shelly's code is actually 80% Byron. It's just that the uh, decentralized staking part is very, very different. So they, them rolling this Byron reboot out actually gives them a lot of the foundation to work for Shelly. They just need to release the Haskell testnet. And they're, in the next few weeks, they are going to be reaching out to certain stake pool holders uh, to actually test out this Haskell testnet. So that process is already being implemented. We all know that it goes very, very slowly at Cardano. So we might it might be like May, end of May or June before we see Shelly uh, mainnet actually come out, which is what we're all waiting for. But the ITN has gotten over a thousand stake pools over 17, over 30,000, um, well, no, actually over 17,000 people actually staking. And also it's, uh, uh, it was over 38% of the Cardano supply staking. So people are very, very much into it. Um, and it's been a very big success and they're very excited. So I, I do think Cardano will come out in the next few months. So I'm stocking up on some ADA right now. The thing about VeChain is that it actually got a partner with Platform X and through that Arcadia. Now Arcadia actually is a really big kind of like toy collectibles uh, company. We reported about this before, but Arcadia is new. Platform X is um, going to be a hub basically. Platform X is essentially going to be a hub that actually distributes a white label version of VeChain, which they've actually optimized for the toys industry to people like Arcadia, uh, Arcadia. They also have like four other companies already and they're expanding very quickly. And we can see like, if you actually go to the article, there was actually several packages that were actually being tracked with VeChain. So once the trade and everything opens up, especially in Singapore and the Asian region, 
Uh, v chain actually might uh, see like a jump in terms of transactions and a jump in terms of VTHO use. If you're having trouble with VTHO on Binance USA, Binance USA does not actually deal with VTHO. I think there's a VET fee for withdrawal. I think it's like 100 VET, which is like 30 cents right now. It's not very much. Um, but they, Binance.us does not deal with VTHO. Um, I don't think they have a support for VTHO like Binance.com actually has. So that's the VeChain news. It's getting more and more into the toys industry, and they actually have a hub that's actually specialized VeChain for the toys industry, um, and that will actually help it propagate throughout the Asian market, if not other markets as well. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you, uh, what you think. Let, uh, like and subscribe, and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.